We often get asked, where do we get that additional 20% productivity? Well, it's not from the hard iron. The capacity of the machine has not changed. What has changed is the automation and that the automation enables the operator to get that maximum capacity through the entire day, through the entire week, and through the entire season. So whether you're an expert operator or you're a novice operator, you're fully utilizing your brand new S7 combine. Getting the value out of what you pay for is, is super, super important when it comes to this harvest technology, this harvest automation. Uh, we're gonna review a slide in greater detail that Ryan covered briefly uh, in his section, but we'll go through here just how you capture that productivity headroom uh, with your combine. And so this is an example productivity throughout the day, just showing at any given second, any given pass, this is the absolute most productivity capacity that your machine can get. That's your machine peak over the day. Now you as an operator, when you're manually harvesting, will work very, very hard to get everything you pay for, right? Get everything out of that combine when you're harvesting. What that includes is you're on the hydro handle, moving it all the time. You're scanning with your eyes in front of the head. You're looking behind the head. Uh, you're looking over at your engine load constantly. Meanwhile, you're also juggling a million other things, right? And so inevitably you're going to get close a handful of times a day, right? You're gonna get very, very close to get, getting everything out of that combine. But there are things that come up quick lunch, you eat while you're harvesting, a distraction in the cab, right? You have a visitor, say a dealer wants to hop in with you. Uh, you get a phone call, where's this load going? Auger broke down back at the farm, right? There's times where you're just not giving all your attention to just keeping your productivity as high as it can be, right? And so where automation comes in is filling in those gaps. We will we'll admit that an expert operator can beat automation in a specific pass if that's all they care about for a drag race, right? that an expert operator can beat it. But when it comes to days, weeks, months of harvest, that's where we see that 20% productivity increase on your machine. And now this is an example of early season expert operator paying really close attention, right? But if we look at a more realistic example that I know I've been guilty of and we all do, where you just get later in harvest and that hydro handle stays in one spot for long periods of time, right? You might start in tough conditions. You're at 0.8 mile an hour. You bump it up to two, bump it up to three as things dry down then maybe things get a little tougher, you drop it down to two, and then you might even end your day a little early, right? It's seven o'clock, eight o'clock at night, things are getting pretty tough, you call it a day, right? So with this visual, when you look at that blue part of the chart here, that is just demonstrating how later and later into harvest, novice operators, expert operators, automation really provides value 